Good afternoon, everybody. How are we doing today? If you're thinking to yourself, this doesn't look like the farm, and this tractor doesn't look like our tractor, well, you're right, it isn't. We have got a lot to talk about. Um, first of all, I had some recording errors, and I have lost a few of the episodes that proceeded over in Osada. Um, obviously, we are no longer there. And um, we don't even own this farm. We are working on this farm. We do have a rather large quantity of money, but this is not our tractor. These are not our sheep. And yeah, this isn't our farm. We are working for an individual who owns this farm and taking care of his sheep, but mainly we're doing it because we're renting the house that's here. We're renting that house over there, and our rent is to work on this farm. Now, we did have more money, but we lost some of it while we were staying in various places. Um, guy came in one day, and he just said, Hey, I want to buy your farm. I'm going to give you market share for it. All you have to do is sell it to me, and, um, well, the money was there, and it was good. So, I couldn't say no. So, I've been, for the last couple of months, working over here almost for free, not completely. I mean, he does pay me for the work that I am doing here. Taking care of his sheep and uh, his chickens. He, uh, he just bought this farm, wasn't sure what he was going to do. We ran into him at the local pub, of all places. And uh, he said, you know what? How would you like to take care of my farm? And I said, well, I suppose I can. I don't mind. He said he'd pay me and he'd take care of expenses. And I said, sure. That sounds like a plan to me. Let's make it happen. Okay, I think the chickens are okay with their food. Uh, let me hop out here and go look real quick. So, that is basically what we've been doing for a while. Oh, they got plenty of food. Okay. Oh, yeah. And this is the chicken farm. Man, you talk about quite the farm here. Uh, there's room for a lot of chickens in here. He doesn't have very many. He's just getting this set up. Uh, this was already here on the farm. And so were the sheep pens. He's got his sheep going. That's his primary deal, is sheep. Man, I want to get back in here. It's cold. Cold and wet. Well, anyway, we're going to go over to his main farm and do our chores, chores over there. We have this tractor to use at our disposal. And then he also gives us odd jobs to do from time to time. Real good about that. He's real nice about it. Uh, one of the nice things is... Better get this up so I can move forward and see, and I don't stab a car. I mean, it gives us this tractor to drive back and forth. Oh, hello, little car. Hey, you're over the white line. Okay, we're just going to go for it. Anyway, he gives us this tractor. Uh, it's ours to drive around. That way we don't have to drive the tractor that we did keep from Osada to bring over here. Um, we've gotten all moved in, so all we own is a tractor and, uh, well, that logging tractor that we have and a trailer. That's it. That's all we have left. Everything else is gone. But I'm starting to get used to this area. It's really, really a, a beautiful area. Um, starting to, you know, kind of get used to everything over here. Uh, as you can tell, we are in England. Uh, in a nice little village area. 
and it's uh, it's quite pleasant, very very pleasant area. But here is the main farm right here. It's not too far away. We just need to come in and feed the sheep and and uh, check with him today. See what what's all going on. I mean, he's got some nice equipment. I'll, I'll give you a little tour around. But uh, we just you know grab a bale, throw in here for the sheep. Let's see, we only need one of these. I think one is going to be good. Each one of these barns, we set it up. He uh, he started out with an, one original barn, and then um, he's just expanded. You know, he's really big on sheep. Yeah, see, I, we'll just take this one bale to all of them. We really don't need much more than that. There's there's bales in each one of these barns ready. That's where we do. That's where he wants them stored. So that's where we're storing them. And all we got to do is just set it down, and they take what they need out of it. But here's the original barn that was here, and uh, yeah, it just kind of kind of does its thing. They produce the wool, and we just help move stuff around. We also move the pallets of wool when they get full and uh, put them into storage. Okay. Yeah, there's not much left of that bale. Let's see here. Make sure we don't run something over we ain't supposed to. But not a bad setup. I'll give you a quick tour of his farm. And we'll see, you know, what animals need what. Okay. Let's see here. Let's go check the chickens. That's the only ones left. His cattle barn, it's got an automatic feeding robot that does everything. In fact, we should be able to see it here in a little bit. We'll, uh... It's about time. It goes off every hour on the hour. Okay, let's have a look at these chickens here. Yeah, their food looks good. And their eggs look just fine. Let's, uh... Well, I guess we won't see it here for a little while. Maybe another day we'll find it. We'll catch it. Man, he's got quite the pile of manure, but I'll take you over through it. Anyway, this is the cattle barn right over here. And uh, he's got it pretty well set up so we don't have to do much. We just put a bale in when this bale disappears and gets uh, sucked in by the robot. Same with all this. Uh, the bales that were here for the silage are gone. But I see the, uh, the straw and the hay are still here. But this arm will swing over and pick it up and grab it, mix it. Put it inside that mixing machine, and every hour it comes around, goes through this door, and uh, feeds the cattle. Which, uh, you can tell, it's feeding time, so there ain't very many of them in here. Uh, they just, uh, they just kind of do their thing. It's kind of nice. And then uh, we scrape the, uh, scrape this out. Scrape all the poo out. Close that back up. It'll automatically open when the robot goes, but because uh, it's snowing, we'll close it. And we uh, dump it right there. So that's just one of the chores that's kind of seen. Uh, looks like he did the work today. We don't always do it. He's got a couple of bunker silos right here that are emptied out. Uh, they're all here right now. This is it. This has got to last until we can start uh, cutting his grass fields out here. He's got quite a few of them. And uh, we'll probably do some field work for him and other things. Um... At least until I find a place. Uh, ultimately, I want to get my own place again, but let's see here. Hop out. He's got a nice newer New Holland. It's not very big, but it, it, it works. It does exactly what it's supposed to do. And a bale loader. Move on up here. He's got a nice Stewart trailer. A small Massey Ferguson which has a, a little bit more horsepower than this one. 
It's the one he upgraded, so he took this one over to the other farm. And then, of course, his cedar. Come around the corner here. And I'll show you inside this garage. This is where he keeps his tractors and his baler. So in here, he's got a 7719S. It's a little bit older. It's, it's his older tractor. He's also got a Claus 455 Roland. That's brand, brand new, he said. He just got this not that long ago. He, uh, he bought it because he wants to start making his own silage bales instead of using the bunkers. He's not a big fan. And, uh, and then we've got this uh, 8S.305. Brand new. Uh, nobody's even drove this yet other than him parking it here. I watched it come in last month. He, no, it hadn't even left the shop since it got in here. So, really, really nice equipment. Obviously, he's kind of a, a Massey fan for the tractors. We've got a storage silo like we have at the other farm right there. It's underground. It's all underground. Neater than all get up to. Anyway, over here we've got, man, he's got lots of stuff, let me tell you. A plow and a, and a, uh, well, harrow, excuse me. Plow and a harrow. Uh, of course, a uh, cedar, well, not a cedar, a, uh, boy, I'm just having a heck of a time with my brain today. <laughs> must be, it must be the snow. Anyway, it's a uh, Kubota spreader for lime and fertilizer. A Samaz wind rower, a real nice Kverland. Uh, tether and a Vermeer swather. I, I can't wait to try to use that. I, I really want to use it. And, and then this shed, this older shed, he has got, well, there's his bucket. It just kind of sits here. Um, a Pottinger Varo, or Faro pickup wagon, an old farm tech uh, slurry spreader, and a manure spreader. A Bree, Bree, I, I, I'm not going to try to pronounce it, but anyway, he's got a nice setup. I am, I am very, very jealous of the setup that he has here, but really, that's all we have to do is just come over here and check on things. I mean, we, we've been over here today and we've checked on the sheep and it looks like, well, we just don't have any extra wool to move or nothing. So we don't need to switch out. Um, well, look at that. It's getting closer. Maybe we will see that robot. Maybe we will. I don't know. Well, anyway, let's go park over here in the shed. And uh, I'm just going to set this on the ground. And uh, I'll go talk to him real quick have a little chat with him and then I'll see if we can't catch that robot I'll be back with you here in just a few moments okay everybody I am back I'm over here by the robot I got my instructions from him he told me what he wanted me to do uh, basically I really don't have a lot to do but I wanted to show you this robot oh here we go so see it closes it off and then the robot comes down and yeah just like that it reaches down in there grabs what it needs takes it over and then dumps it in there and it'll do that for each of the ingredients and it takes uh, however many buckets and however however much it needs to uh, fill the cattle back up with food. And I bet you if we go in here now, the cattle are going to be closer up because they're gonna know it's food time. Well, at least Bessie here, she's, see, they're, they're, they're meandering in. They know it's food time. So we'll come over here, we'll kind of stand out of the way and we'll wait for that robot to get in here. It's, it's kind of neat. Uh, again, it just takes a couple of minutes for it to load up. Let's go have a look here. Oh, here we go. 
we can watch it kind of from here. I think we'll have to get up around front. Okay. Oh, here it comes. Here comes that darn robot. Man, that's, it's the coolest thing ever. Never seen such. It's not very fast. But as you can see, it's got a full mixed load inside of it there. I'll try to get in front of it. That's even got sensors on it so it won't run you over. See, watch this. It senses I'm there and won't won't hit me. And then once I move out of the way, it goes right back to what it was doing. So, kind of cool. Let's hop up here on top of this post so we can watch it as it comes down. All right, there it goes. It's uh, dropping the feed right along the edge of the bunk. And as you can see, the cattle have come in. They're eating. Well, a few of them have. Not all of them. There's a lot of them still out there. But it drops it down there. And it'll slow down when it's close to being empty. And then finish it off. Let's see here. It's putting quite a bit right there. Oh, that's probably because I was up there. Uh, up, yep, I was in the sensor track. That was my fault. Well, and there it goes. You see, I can't close that door till he gets back there. I guess I have to wait for it to get back here real quick. Just take it a moment or two. Get back in your little home. There it goes. Okay, now I can close that up. Uh, it is cold. Let's get back into the tractor, shall we? Uh, anyway, we know what we're going to do. And um, he told me right now he doesn't have a lot for me to do. Just, uh, you know, keep up what I'm doing every morning. He said I might go check some of the production points which I, I kind of know where they are, but at the same time, I'm not going to lie, I kind of don't. There's a few of them I haven't found yet, but I keep looking every time I go into town. Yeah, look at there. We'll have this field right here. Oh, that's something I can tell you. This field and the one above it, and then over here on this side behind the house, there's a couple of fields. We'll have those to plant here soon, he said sometime in the next month or two. But we'll go this way back to the house just so you kind of get an idea. There's two ways to get there. We can uh, take the old dirt road that goes straight across to our house or we can take this road right here. Either one of them is fine and he, he don't care which one we use. But, uh, you know, if I need anything for the farm, uh, you know, if we run out of something, if he doesn't have it, he just tells me, go get it. It's really nice. Okay, looking good. He just says, oh, go get it. Don't worry about it. Just go get it. So, I, I really don't ever have to worry about anything as far as buying anything. He's got it covered. So, it's kind of kind of nice little arrangement um, he does pay for you know a lot of the utilities that we have so eh, I ain't making a whole bunch of money but uh, you know at the end of each week it works out pretty good he pays me a fair amount for what I do even though I'm getting room and board and everything else basically for free I uh, I can't I can't complain alrighty back up the hill here and then here at this farm we have uh, I guess I didn't tell you but we'll drive up here I'll show you wait right back there that field entrance by the house that is grassland and uh, of course, mo everything around the house here is grassland. It's all grassland. This field right here 
we uh, we will harvest it or well mow it and then everything beyond here is somebody else's it ain't it ain't part of his he didn't buy all this property he just bought the main you know a majority of it then come down here this is all his off to the left and then behind these buildings behind the sheep barns that's also his or no I'm sorry it's not it's just these three fields I'm still learning still learning I've only been at this uh, a couple of months but anyway let's go uh, let's go put this tractor away I've just been keeping it up here in this shed up by the house that way I can plug it in there's an electric socket in here and there's our tractor and our uh, and our uh, trailer that we bought to, to transfer everything across it's just a basic trailer it hasn't moved from where it is right now well since we got here it's just sat right there and then uh, yep our old tractor Lord I don't even know if it'll start let's uh, let's find out shall we Ooh, she's cold come on come on girl you can do it there we go yeah we haven't done nothing with her haven't really used it uh, we got here, answered his ad, and um, we haven't done a single thing since. So I'm going to let this sit here and run, because obviously it needs to run and uh, warm up a little bit and charge the battery. We don't want to just leave it. I'll move out of the way here over to the house. And this is our little house. I'd take you inside, but it's a bit of a tip. So we're, we're just not going to mess with that. And, uh, yep, here's one of the fields. So here we are in this beautiful location. And uh, I'll keep up with you guys. I'll let you know what's happening. Let's see. Oh, and we do have diesel right here. So he pays for the diesel for all of his items. And we pay him if we need diesel in our tractor. So if we, we were to need diesel... We just buy it from him. He's real good about that. And he, I mean, he just asks that we're honest and fair. That's all he asks. So you can't complain. How are you guys doing, huh? I got quite the pins here, over here. They're not as, these, these sheep over here are pampered. They're protected from the elements compared to the others. You know, a little bit of snow gets in through the gable up there, but, uh, yeah, our sheep over here are, uh, they're pampered, that's for sure. They are pampered. And our chickens, man, they are totally pampered. We even got CCTV here to see what's going on around the farm. They've got an air conditioner for when it's, uh, uh, the weather's inclement. And they've even got a heater, too. But you get in here... You know, this is climate controlled in here to keep the eggs at the right temperature. But you open this door, and man, you come in here, and it's like a heat wave with these chickens. They just, uh, they've got it good. They really do. Anyway, we'll leave them alone. Just get in their way. And they get a little grumpy. At least the rooster does, anyway. Well, I'm going to leave that running. Thanks, everybody, for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.